I want to get out of here. I know, I know. You will. Once Griffin says it's okay. Huh. Why do I get the feeling you want me stuck in here so we can't go ahead with that plan with Hayward? I just want you to focus on getting better. I am focused on that. And I'm focused on some bigger things. What? Maybe you should walk away from this marriage where you still can. Walk away? I... What the hell are you talking about? You're always getting hurt because of me. Oh, Zach. You are alive. We are here together. Everything is fine. I brought the casino people into your life. You almost got killed because of Ricky. That was my choice. I made you make that choice. I'm asking too much always, now the whole thing with David. I'm asking too much. No, I, I told you I am with you on the whole thing with David, okay? I'm with you. Right now, you, you really need to rest. I want you to have a good life. No sacrifices, no risk, and no pain. I want a life with you. What are you doing? I mean, are, are you testing me? Why are you doing this? I want you to be safe. And I want you to be happy. You found out about me and Griffin. I risk your life, he saved your life. Zach, I am exactly where I want to be. Are you? All this bull about me bailing on our marriage. Is that your way of saying you wish you'd never come back to me? You know I wanted to come back to you. Okay, then why are you saying insane things like I might be better off without you? Because Castilla had to step in and save you because of me. Yes, Zach, yes, he, he did perform the surgery. But when I came to, I was saying your name, loving you. I wasn't there. Zach, you were there. You are always there. I felt you, Zach, we were connected. You know what I think? I think you need someone stable. Someone who keeps you safe, keeps you out of danger. Someone who can fix your heart in the back of a broken down ambulance. Okay, would you shut up? All right, stop, okay? Please. You've been through hell. All right, you're frustrated and exhausted. I am with you, Zach. Always. Always only you. I mean, have, haven't I proven that to you? My God, what, what else do I have to do? What do I have to do to convince you? I'm, I'm sorry, I... I... No, it's okay. It's all right. Actually, um, we were just setting things straight. Right? Right. Right. Sorry I walked in on you guys. No, it's, it's fine. It's fine. We needed a break. Things have been a little intense. Makes sense. That he pushed me away? No, it doesn't. Well... I don't think he's pushing you away. He's protecting you. By trying to, to tell me that I shouldn't be with him? He just feels awful for everything he's put you through. Yeah, well, I put him through a lot, too. But I thought we got past all of that. I mean, Greenlee, we had been working so hard to, to, to trust each other again and, and find our way back and be on each other's side, and we are. I thought that he got that when I backed him on this whole David thing. About that. Brian... Still... Stop, stop. I know. I know. But Zach is backing David. He believes in his work. And even though I'm not a fan, I'm grateful for what he's done. So am I. But I also know that he can destroy a marriage. I'm surprised to see Kendall's not here. Blue to your side. She needed a break. Well, I hate to think that I'm the reason for a rift between the two of you. No, you're not the problem. Well, despite what she may say, I can't imagine Kendall's too thrilled with our new alliance. She's fine with it. Good. Because of your involvement with Orpheus, it's going to make a huge difference. I just wish it would have made a difference before. For my mom. Believe me, I understand. Losing my father was what spawned the entire project. My people in this town, they don't want to believe that. They... All they can see is the lust for power. It's hard to miss, there. <laughs> well, I'll give you that. Guilty as charged. 
Yes, I do love the power of saving lives, reuniting families, bringing fathers back to their sons. That's what you did for me. That's why I will do everything I can to make this go out into the world and get approved. You know, I gotta be honest with you. I'm, I'm having a hard time understanding why you would do this for me. For you, I'm not doing this for you. When my plane fell out of the sky, I knew I was done. It was finished. I was gonna die. There was nothing I could do about it. No control over it. I never want to feel that way again. I don't want anyone that I care about to ever feel like that again. Orpheus is gonna protect them. And not just them. I'm not sure I understand what you mean. Oh, when you had me in that room and I was all drugged up, I heard you talking. I know there are others. What exactly do you think you heard? I heard enough to know that Dixie and I aren't the only ones. And now that we're partners. What? This... Well, you think I should show you all my cards? No, sorry. That's not how this works. David. With your track record, I have no reason to trust you, but for Orpheus, I've made an exception. Why can't I do the same? And in time, you and everyone else will know everything. So it is about the power. As I said, I'm very grateful for your support. But you can't buy trust. It needs to be earned. I will earn it. Whatever it takes. I'm gonna remember you saying that. David is not going to ruin our marriage. That was not a happy conversation between you and Zach. Well, he wants to start out on the right foot. Our biggest problem, the one thing that's gotten us in trouble every time, is not being honest with each other. Queenly, we don't work without trust. We need trust. I mean, I do something behind his back, he does something behind mine, and then we both can try and justify it, but in the end, it blows up in our faces. So this time we are putting it all on the table from the beginning, which has been a little intense. Yeah, exactly. But if that's what Zach needs to, to know that I'm with him, then I'm going to do that. We could scream and, and fight and claw at each other's faces and strangle each other, but I, I think in the long run, we're going to be a lot stronger. So this Orpheus partnership, you're still on? on board with it. I mean, there's no way to talk you out of it. Really? I had to give Come it a shot. On. I had to give it a shot. Look, I, I have mixed feelings about David, too, OK? His treatment saved my life, but he could also use it to hurt me. Is David threatening to tell Ryan that Jillian might be alive? He doesn't have to tell Ryan. He told me. Now he's just sitting back, waiting for it to cause problems. But it won't, because you won't let it. We can do that. Yeah, we'll meet over drinks, sure. David Hayward will be there, I promise. OK, good. Drinks? Aren't you rushing things just a little bit? Come on. What? Well, I, I need to talk to you. Uh, I think he needs to rest right now. No, I think that can wait. David offered my sister a job on Orpheus. You're his partner. I need you to tell him you want her off the project. Why would I do that? Because I don't want my sister anywhere near this. But David does. It's good enough for me. I should go. Greenly. You're really going to do this? You're going to let David hurt Carol? Is that right? Come here. Dr. Castillo is a fine doctor, but he's not to be trusted. I thought he was your star pupil. Yes, he was. That was before he took his eyes off the prize, forgot his dedication to science, fell in love with your wife. That could be a problem. From the looks of it, he's still in love with her. 